makes me feel new again. <laughs> this thing's hard to skate, but it's satisfying when you make stuff. I have learned in, in my years of growing up in San Pedro, you cannot tell a skateboarder that something's impossible. And it kind of reflects on who they are as, as, as athletes, as artists. Channel Street has been around for over two decades. This parking lot used to be like a skate spot slash like illegal dumping hot spot. And uh, skateboarders and people in the community kind of dialed everything in and got rid of most of the trash. When the ports, both ports came to us, the state came to us, the rail company came to us and said, hey, this DIY skate park is not permitted and it's illegal. My first question was, well, how do we make it legal? Because this is a fixture, the skating mecca of the city is right here. It was supposed to be a one year closure and that kind of turned into a seven year closure. Just politics, red tape, bureaucracy. When Channel Street was closed and the guy started the permitting process, navigating through all the red tape was just so complicated. When we say bureaucracy, we don't say that anybody was lazy or stupid or, or you know, that, that, that there's something there that doesn't belong. It's just complicated. And uh, we had to navigate that complicated system. There was plain old construction, concrete work, that kind of stuff, but also a lot of that behind the scenes stuff, dealing with city council offices, dealing with police agencies, dealing with a lot of stuff. So it was, I had to wear a lot of hats. When I came in, I was like, we need to document this because what we learn here today could be used to help save other DIY skate parks. Permitting this type of project this way has never been done before in the history of skateboarding. I personally knew that this was the end game. Today, this story and how many generations and the value of it. First time I came here, um, I was like nine years old and I'm 30 years old now. So my dad told me about the skate park. Um, ever since that day, I came here every single day to skateboard. This is like my home away from home, you know, to, to get away from like just everything, like um, clear my mind, you know. My nephews, I will never forget watching them skate for the first time here. And today, my nephews, one's a rock star, literally. He's a lead singer in Drain. And his brother is in law enforcement. This is what, who we're shaping here. We're shaping future leaders. We're shaping artists. We are shaping doctors, lawyers, nurses, police officers, firefighters. And that's a sense of community and skate parks that we have experienced here. It's a community-built park, built by the locals, built by the people in San Pedro. That's why it got permitted, because everyone stepped in and did something. It's exciting, you know? You come down, take a great slam, go home, beat up, and or don't. <laughs> Three, two, one.